Hello from the Big South Network studio, I'm Mark Bryant and we have another edition of our season previews for the 2024-25 basketball season. Very happy to have with me now the Winthrop women's coach, Samika randall Lay. Coach, very glad to have you here. It's good to be back. How you well, doing? I'm doing well. You're doing very well. In fact, congratulations on the induction into the American Basketball Hall of Fame. Please tell us about what that experience was like. It overwhelming, I can say. Um, just being in a room of just some talented guys, uh, being the only female in the room with them, but a very humble uh, moment, especially for my mother. Because for me, I, I, I passed it to her and just thanking her for the opportunity to trust me on, in my journey of finding out who I am and uh, allowing this, this basketball to take me to many different places. And so to be able to share that moment with her meant everything to me. So. Um, I'm grateful, like uh, I do not take this, that award, that honor for granted, but it's a pretty cool moment, oh, yeah. I'm not going to even tell you. No doubt about it. Well, I think the whole Big South community is very proud and happy for you, and, and let's, let's, let's get to business. All right. Though. All right, let's talk about this year's squad. The Eagles made a huge jump last season, got to a 500 conference record, 14 overall wins. Now this is season five for you. What expectations do you have coming in, and how do you continue to raise the bar. We just want to keep moving forward. Uh, and and my, my student athletes and I know that you never arrive in this game. And the moment you get comfortable, things happen. So we're just trying to put our best foot forth every day when we step out on that court. And that's the same expectations going into this, this upcoming season. And we're excited. Like, I, I'm, I'm truly excited. Uh, and just thankful that I get to coach. Well, let's talk about who you're coaching. Talk about the, the foundation here. Key returning players and what roles are they going to play for you? Okay, uh, we're going to go right off the uh, jump. Start our st starting point guard, who's been my starting point guard, I say, for the past uh, uh, three previous seasons, uh, Leonor Pizana. Uh, just great kid. She knows me. Um, we, we, we work well together. Uh, she's my little floor general and, and my coach on the floor. Uh, I, I value her feedback and I, I'm just looking for great things for her um, now that I feel like we, we've built this thing together because she's the only one that's been with me um, from the start and so uh, I, I like her how, how focused she is and, and I'm expecting great things for her. Uh, we'll go over to Jada Rice, uh, pretty cool honor that she received in terms of doing preseason first team. All her hard work, I mean, they all these athletes have a story and her story is incredible for um, the first day I got an opportunity to coach her. And she's like one of my uh, old hands here, like this is going into our third season together. So I'm excited and stag for what she brings to our team. Uh, Jada is just a, 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 a focused young, young lady uh, and just wanted her to go out and do her thing and be relaxed and be able to make the great reads that she need to make for us offensively and defensively. Uh, Renato, Mark, uh, just a dynamic player, uh, came in and probably, I think, surprised some people just with her, her toughness and her ability to get to the basket. Uh, but I, I, again, expectations are very high for her in terms of uh, I want her to be also a leader with uh, Jada and uh, Leo. I, I believe she has that ability to influence a lot of our, our, our players on the floor, so I'm, I'm just looking forward to that. And then for her to get comfortable because she wasn't looked at to score the basketball, I do think she has the ability to do that. Uh, Blessing, I, I'm not going to even screw her name up because <laughs> like, when I'm not good at names, I don't say them. But I'm excited for her to just, uh, again, continue contributing to our team. And then last but not least, uh, returning who plays significant minutes for Marissa Gasseroy. I mean, that young lady, any rebound, anywhere, she can go get it. Uh, she's not one of those people that only can rebound on her spot. She rebounds out of her spot. And the tenacity that she's been playing with and practice, I'm really proud of her trying to take that leap in that and understanding the game more. And all of those athletes that I mentioned, like they're, they, they're, got their, uh, they're meeting with coaches and they're watching more and more film. So I like where our focus is. We're I all, said a lot. No, you did. We're, we're all here. We're all hearing that there's a good core. What are you adding to that? What's what you know? Incoming transfers that are significant. Who's going to get a lot of minutes or catch our attention this year? Well, I mean, we 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 have we got fortunate in terms of Olivia Wagner, who was a transfer from Radford, played significant minutes for Mark. Um, I expect her to come in and do the same for us. Uh, she's very key to our program. I, I think she's trying to find herself in terms of 
uh, leadership role because I just don't want her to come in and just play behind uh, those two people that I mentioned, Jada and Leo. I want her to be able to contribute and push them. So I'm excited what, what she's doing, but she's learning more and more about just trusting herself again. And then uh, Naria, ooh, uh, Canoe, I hope I said that right, but uh, she has championship under her belt. And what better person I'd be in the locker room and to speak up because she knows what it takes to win. Uh, I, I can't deliver that anymore. I know I've won a championship so, uh, uh, plenty in my time, but I'm, I'm outdated. She's current. And so they, the, the, the respect that she has in my room right now is a pretty cool thing. And there's, there's a ton of people that we have. Uh, and I could go on and on about those uh, individuals, but I just like the depth that we have overall. And I'm expecting great things from even players that I didn't even mention. Now, as someone looks down your non-conference schedule, they might get down to see Eagles at uh, Tennessee, someone's alma mater. So how did that come together? I must be a crazy lady. <laughs> um, you know, I've, I've always wanted that opportunity to take my team back to play at my school. And um, to be able to do it now, uh, I'm excited, especially for someone who like Leo, who's been with me, but this group that I, I genuinely care about and I enjoy waking up every morning and I literally get up at like, literally, excuse me, get up about 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning and excited to get to practice just to see their faces and so to be able to kind of take them around the, the lay of the land of, uh, in Knoxville, uh, I look forward to that, like uh, sharing that special moment with them. Let's broaden that a bit. What else on the non-conference schedule are fans going to look toward and uh, especially who's coming to your place, but also at MTE in Puerto Rico? Not bad, right? <laughs> Not bad. Right. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, we probably started as a year ago when we had the opportunity to go to California. So I'm like, I want to do something special again for the student athletes who, who trust me. And I want to give them a student athlete experience. And so when the Puerto Rico opportunity presented itself, I, like I had to take a jump at it. And um, I'm just thankful that my AD approved it and that we're able to give those kids an experience of their lifetime that they'll remember. And I want to have fun with them. Like they always think like, coach, can, can I do this? Can I wear that? And I'm like, we're in Puerto Rico. We, we're going to have a little fun. Like, and, and we need to, to have that balance. But uh, you talk about the schedule. I mean, I just think we got some great games coming up. And right off the bat, we're starting at Georgia Tech. Uh, uh, it, it, there's history behind some of these people, like uh, Nell Fortner, she coached me in USA Basketball, and I want to go medal with her. So it's pretty cool to be able to, to compete against their team. It will be a, definitely a tough game. Uh, we also got some, I, I would say, rivalries right down the street from us, Charlotte and, and Queens. So um, our, our, our schedule is kind of all over the place. Wait for us. Like, I, I think we got a, a balance that I do think is going to be a competitive schedule to see, uh, present some challenges to, to see where our team is at and uh, challenge them and, and teach them how to grow too as well so, to get us prepared for the Big South uh, Conference. Well, it does sound like an exciting season yeah, ahead. Right. We wish you and all the Eagles the best well, of luck. You. And you. we thank you for watching another edition of our season preview series for basketball 2024-25 in the Big South.